Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in case you're new here, hi, my name is Dida and welcome to this little space I like to call Dida's Corner. Okay, first off, Happy New Year. <laughs> um, I know it's been a while since I was on here. It's, it's becoming a trend, yeah. I'm sorry that I've been away for quite a while without explanation and I didn't want to come back, do a whole long video explaining why I'm back. Instead, I wanted to come back share a few good things with you guys you know the things that i've been loving in this past year i know we're already like towards mid january of 2020 when i'm releasing this video but yeah i still wanted to share the things that i was loving all of 2019 the things that stood out to me that i feel need a bit of you know love <laughs> So yeah, I thought I would do that and just do a quick little intro explaining why I've been away. So long story short, I was just taking a break to focus on my health. My health hasn't been 100% recently. And when I say health, I don't mean like I'm dying or anything. Um, it's just, I know I've mentioned this a million times to you guys. I have severe eczema and my eczema has been like kind of taking over recently that's why i'm wearing long sleeves i didn't want to scare you guys um but as you can see my skin isn't looking the best right now and the crazy thing is as scary as this might look to you this is actually me on a good day so yeah um i just thought why should i let this take over me let me just come own it and yeah I'm back hopefully <laughs> but yeah aside from that I also decided to take a little short break you know a little holiday I traveled to Kigali as well for a short while it was really nice and I just wanted to start 2020 with a good positive mindset with a good you know clean slate so here I am another reason why I'm also wearing this top is just because I want to talk about all the excellent things that I have been loving from 2019 so yeah let me stop rambling and let's just jump into the video so as you guys can see from the title um, I did want to separate my favorites into three little parts because um, if I talked about everything in one video it would probably be one and a half hour long <laughs> so so this first video that you're going to watch will be about my makeup favorites of 2019 this will likely be the longer video of the three because i have a lot of makeup favorites i want to talk about then i'll do a second video with my skincare favorites that stood out in 2019 and then the last video will just be miscellaneous items that i just feel need a little bit of a spotlight so yeah you guys can choose the video that you would like to watch in whatever sequence that you'd like to watch if you're not a makeup person then you can always watch the skincare video and my miscellaneous video if you're not a skincare person but you love makeup you can watch you know like the one that suits you so that's why I wanted to break it down I will likely upload all three at the same time because I don't want to drag it on too long I just want to have all of them out there but that way you guys can split it and not waste all your time watching just one really long video you know what I mean okay actually i even forgot to mention before we even continue further i'm sure you guys can see there's a bit of a difference in quality in this video from my last videos and that is because i got a new camera yay <laughs> so if you guys watched like one of my older videos there was one where i was giving a story time of how i lost my previous camera in istanbul um that was pretty sad for me to be honest and i've been feeling naked without a camera you know so i have to give a shout out my camera is my new favorite for sure i also decided to do a bit of an upgrade so i hope it will be worth the money and that the content from now on will be a lot better than it used to be but yeah, I'm really excited and hopefully that means more content coming at you soon. Okay, so let's get into the makeup. I've talked too long. Okay, with the makeup, I want to break it down in the way that I would wear it. So I'm going to start with primer, foundation, blah, 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 until the end. Get it? Get it. Okay, so let's start with primer. For primer, the primer that stood out for me all of 2019 is definitely this one from Touch and Soul. This is the No Problem Prime Essence. And I have very little left. I got this in a boxy charm some time back and I've been loving it. It's like a really liquidy consistency, uh, as you guys can see here. Like it just drips. It's like literally an essence, like it says. And it's a bit milky and it makes your skin like so plumped and dewy. It's I just love it. It's so hydrating. So if you've got dry skin, I highly recommend this. Now, the only issue that I've come to find is that I've loved this so much that I had to look online to see obviously how much it will cost if I want to repurchase it when I've finished with this one. But I saw that they discontinued this, 
which I was really sad about, but they do have another one that's pretty similar. This is the No Problem Priming Water. I got this one in another subscription box. This one I got in Ipsy because when I saw that this one had been discontinued and I saw that this one was being offered, I decided to pick this just to try it out and see if they're similar. And they are kind of similar. This one gets absorbed by your skin faster. Like it's a little more dry. If that makes sense, even though it is still a liquid just like this one, but I would say this one is definitely more dewy, hydrating, whereas this one is still dewy and hydrating, but it just gets like sucked by your skin a lot faster. It's still good, so yeah, I still highly recommend it. The next thing I want to talk about is a favorite of mine for years, not just 2019, like I've been loving this for years, and that's the MAC strobe creams. So here I've got the gold light, the red light, and the peach light. I have to say the gold light is definitely my favorite and in case you're not familiar with what strobe cream is it's basically just like a moisturizer with a pearlescent finish so it's it just gives your skin a beautiful glow if you're just to wear this on its own so on those days where I don't wear any makeup I just put this on and it just gives the skin a beautiful like glow and iridescence if that makes sense it's so beautiful another thing that I really love to use strobe cream for is one as a primer and two when I have a really full coverage foundation I don't like full coverage foundations so much to be honest but when I do have one and I feel like wearing it I'll use this to kind of sheer it out and make it more dewy so yeah I've, I really love my strobe cream I don't think I could ever live without this and it's definitely a favorite I hope you guys have your snacks by the way because this will be a long video <laughs> The next one I want to talk about is very similar to strobe cream and this is the Lakshmi. I don't know how to pronounce this, okay? This is the LXMI. I'm just gonna call it Lakshmi because I feel like that's what it should be called. <laughs> this is the Lakshmi Nilotica Goddess Glow. They call this a hydrating illuminator, which is true, but to me it's more like strobe cream but on steroids. So it's very similar to the gold light one in the sense that, okay, I feel like I need to swatch this for you guys to see. When it comes out of the tube, it's pink, but don't let that fool you. It completely shears out and just turns into this like beautiful gold finish. Do you guys see that? Like the way it just shines. It's so pretty. When you wear this on your skin alone, it gives you such a nice iridescent glow where you'd only see it if like you're hit by the sun and also by mixing it with foundations it gives just a beautiful stunning glow because the beauty of this is as much as it looked quite crazy when I swatched it right now when you do like really you know work it in you see you can't really see it I have to give this a shout out because I really really love it next is complexion so i'm gonna start with my favorite foundations i actually have two foundations that i discovered this year that i am just obsessed with and honestly speaking if i were to get married it's between these two on which one would be my wedding foundation like that's how much i love these foundations i don't think I will ever find anything as beautiful as these ones if I'm being honest. So the first one I want to talk about is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I bought this in March when I was in Turkey. This was the time when I was coming back to Kenya. I was in the airport so I picked it up in the duty free. I got it at a really good discount. This is stunning. I'm not gonna lie it's a pretty pricey foundation and I've been wanting it for such a long time so the only reason I even got it this year was because I got it at such a good discount you know. Um, I think it goes for like $60 if I'm not wrong which is really expensive for a foundation but honestly it's worth it. This is not full coverage at all. I wouldn't even call it medium coverage. It's like a sheer to medium coverage foundation but the finish is just what makes this so special. You put it on your skin and it just meshes into your skin and like just makes your skin look beautiful and even and I don't know how to explain it like I feel like this can work for almost everybody it does have a bit of a luminous finish I mean clearly it's called the luminous silk foundation so if you're not into that then maybe you wouldn't like this but for me personally I love a good dewy finish so this is just beautiful it makes your skin look so good I just I don't know how to explain it it's it's quite unique I don't have anything else in my collection like this and I freaking love this. The second foundation I want to talk about is the Clara 
Everlasting Foundation Plus. This was a bit of a shock to me as to the amount I fell in love with it. I'm not gonna lie, before I bought this one, my favorite from the Clara line was the Skin Illusion Foundation as well as the True Radiance Foundation. I really love those foundations as well, don't get me wrong, they're beautiful. But this came and just stole my heart. <laughs> And I never thought I would love it because this is a matte foundation, technically. The other two are definitely more dewy, but there's just something so special about this foundation. And for somebody like me who doesn't like matte foundations to say I love a matte foundation is crazy. <laughs> Um, my favorite way of applying this is I'll have a very hydrated base first and then I'll put a few drops and oh by the way this is this is actually full coverage or at least full coverage to me maybe to some people it's not full coverage enough but I feel like one pump or even just just a touch of a pump is enough for my whole face with this foundation it's so beautiful it just meshes with your skin in such a beautiful way and I'm gonna tell you why I don't like matte foundations to me I feel like every matte foundation that I've ever had just tends to make my skin look cakey and just dry and textured but this one doesn't do that it just yes it dries matte if you like let it dry uh, but it just it looks like your skin it's just so beautiful that's that's the only way I can explain this foundation I freaking love it it's a pricey one again I know that but if you're able to get your hands on this, I highly recommend. Oh, I also forgot to mention, with the Luminous Silk Foundation, I'm in the shade 9. And with the Clara, I'm in the shade 114 Cappuccino. Just for reference in case you want to know. Next, I want to talk about a concealer that stole my heart in 2019. And that's the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Oh my god, this concealer is amazing. I have tried a bunch of different concealers. And yes, I do have a few favorites. But there's just something special about this one. This is full coverage. You only need like a dot of this to cover your entire eye area. And it doesn't look cakey. It doesn't settle into my fine lines. Even when I set it, it doesn't look textured. You know how concealer, like once you set it with powder, can tend to look a bit textured until you like spray your face with a bit of like Fix Plus or something? This doesn't do that. And that is why I love this concealer so much. Like I said, just a dot is enough. And mind you, I do have dark circles, which I hate. Like if there's one thing I could get rid of from my face, it is my dark circles. But this hides them in a way I've never seen any other concealer do. Compared to the Tarte Shape Tip, I feel like this puts it to shame. And I also love the fact that you get a ton of product in here because you get 15 ml, which is half the amount of a regular foundation, and that's crazy. And it's just beautiful, man. I really love this concealer. And I am in the shade Sand, but I use this as a highlighting concealer. It's definitely not my skin tone shade. Now let's move on to powder. This will come as no shock because I'm sure you guys have seen me use this powder a million times in my videos before. And that is the MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder. And I have to stress on the word transparent. To me, that's what makes this powder so, so special to me. I hate that it comes in a tiny container because I've gone through this powder like three times now. This is my third container. That's how much I love this powder. I have never found a powder that is translucent and never made my face look a different color. You know what I mean? Like there's a way that powder kind of shifts the color of your foundation or your concealer. And I've never been a fan of that. But this doesn't do that. And that is why I love this powder so goddamn much. This powder makes your skin look like you have a filter on it as well. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit mattifying. That's the only like downside to this powder but once you put like a good amount of fix plus on your face the matteness goes away and your skin still looks absolutely flawless that's why i love this powder so much you guys know i don't bake i hate baking um i find for my dry skin like baking just emphasizes texture and makes me look really cakey but even if you're a baker i wouldn't suggest baking with this powder because this is made of silica meaning it will give you matte flashback this is not a powder to be baked with. If you do decide to get this and try it out, just do it the way I do. Get a powder brush, a nice big fluffy powder brush or a nice tapered small brush for the eye area and just use the brushes to lightly set. You don't need a lot, trust me with this. You just need the tiniest amount. 
which is fine I guess with the fact that it's tiny but with the way I love this it's just not enough I wish they would make a bigger version of this I would be the happiest person on the planet because like I said this is my third one this year I already have like this much left so I'll need to buy a new one soon that's the only downside to this and the fact that it mattifies the face but otherwise this is a beautiful powder. The next powder I want to talk about came as a complete shock to me, I'm not gonna lie. And also this is a very recent purchase. I bought it during the Black Friday sales of uh, 2019, which was just in November. So I haven't been using this powder that much and yet it lands in my 2019 favorites. And I'll tell you why I love this powder so much and why it shocked me. First, let me see which one it is. It's the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. And I'll tell you why I was shocked to like it as much as I did, okay? I remember watching so many reviews about this powder when it first came out. And a lot of the reviews that I watched didn't have the best things to say about this powder. And I was a bit bummed because I'm a big Fenty Beauty fan. One, I love Rihanna like she's my wife. Yes. She's my wife. So I was a bit disappointed when I saw those reviews, but because I love the brand so much, I decided to say fuck it and I bought it just to try it out. And to say that it has captured my heart is putting it lightly. <laughs> this powder is so beautiful, guys. I, by the way, have the shade Cashew and I actually do want to get another one and I'll tell you why in a sec. So I think the reason why people didn't like this powder so much is because they were trying to bake with it and I don't think this powder was made to be baked with. So it's a good thing that I don't bake, otherwise I probably would have hated this powder. But if you're somebody who lightly sets your face with powder, then this is for you. This particular powder is not translucent in any way. It does have color to it, obviously, as you can see. So that's the only downside I have with this powder. And that's why I want to get another one. I want to get the honey one next. Because with this powder, I can only use it on the perimeter of my face. Because this is like almost my exact skin tone shade. So I can use it to set my foundation and it looks beautiful so that's the reason why i want to get banana because i believe is like the brightening version of this so that one i can use like to set my concealer so why i love this powder so much is because somehow it kind of gives your face a filter and i guess that's why they called it pro filter and it suits the name perfectly because when you set your face with this one you look absolutely airbrushed and at the same time it doesn't take the life out of your face like normal powders do and that's why I love this powder so much. Somehow my makeup is set in place, but I don't look cakey, I don't look powdery, I don't look like dry at all. So that's why I love this powder so much. I've come to find that sometimes I'll use this powder alone and I won't even need like a fix plus afterwards, which is crazy for somebody like me who has dry skin to see and that's why i have to give this powder an a plus and that's why it stole my heart in just a matter of a month it's amazing it definitely gets my thumbs up the next powder i have to give a shout out to is the hourglass ambient lighting powders i have the shade radiant light here many people tend to think that these are highlighting powders they're not the ambient powders are meant to be like a finishing powder so say you go and set your face with like the fenty beauty powder right you set your whole face before you go in with like a setting spray you take a powder like this you take a big fluffy powder brush like really swirl it in the product and just buff it all over your face what this does is just bring like a glow back to your face it's like it's a very very subtle glow like even if i was to swatch it you don't see it at all you don't so don't let that fool you these powders just give your face a beautiful glow from out of this world i, I can't explain it you just have to try it the only downside and it, this really sucks to be honest is that this is the darkest shade that they offer and the problem with these powders is that they're not translucent so you are going to see them on your face if you're like a darker or lighter skin tone so if you're lighter this might work as like a bronzer but if you're darker then maybe you could use this in like the concealer areas of your face because you will see this if you're to use this on a darker skin tone all over the face it might make you look ashy so honestly that's the thing that sucks about hourglass their shade range for the ambient lighting powders is garbage like even for me i think this is the only powder i can use as well as the dim light but the other ones are made for caucasians but if you are lighter than me or around my skin tone shade or just slightly darker this radiant light one will 
will work for you and I freaking love it. Okay, next let's move on to bronzer. This one, just like the Fenty Beauty powder I spoke about, I did buy during the Black Friday sale and for it to have gotten into my favorites, I have to give it kudos. It's a beautiful bronzer. And that's the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer in the shade Caramel Cutie. I love this bronzer so much. You can see I've had this since November, but somehow I've already managed to like use and abuse it, if you can see. This, this is an amazing bronzer and I'll tell you why. One, this particular shade Caramel Cutie is like the perfect tone for me. It's not grey, it's not red, it's not super yellow. It's just the perfect neutral tone and that's one of the reasons I love this so much. The other reason is that this is absolutely foolproof. If you're an absolute beginner, I would highly recommend getting your hands on Fenty Beauty Bronzer because you can't do too much with these. It's impossible. Because no matter how much you dig your brush into these bronzers, they don't impart a lot of pigment on your face, which is perfect. With something like bronzer or blush, it's good to have something that you can build rather than having something where you dip once and then you have a stripe on your face. You know what I mean? Because it's harder to blend out a mistake rather than just slowly building it up. So that's another reason why I really love this bronzer so much. You really can't go wrong with this. So if you have been thinking of trying a bronzer, I highly recommend starting out with these. They are so good, so beginner friendly. Another thing that I also love about these bronzers is that one, they have a really good shade range. They do have bronzers even for some of the darkest skin tones, which is really rare in the makeup industry to find bronzers that go that deep for deeper skin tones. You know what I mean? So I have to give props to Fenty Beauty for that. And the beauty is that you know how with Fenty Beauty they have like four different categories of like skin tones? So they have the 100s, the 200s, the 300s and the 400s. I personally lie in the 300s because I'm of a tan skin tone. So what they did basically is that for each of the categories they have two different colors of bronzers for you to choose from. So like for instance in the 300s there's this Caramel Cutie and there's Bajan Girl if I'm not wrong. So usually they'll have like a more red-ish bronzer which is like the Bajan Girl and I'm not into red bronzers so I didn't pick that one and then they'll have a more neutral tone for people like me who like a more neutral tone and that's why I picked up Caramel Cutie. So honestly I highly recommend these and they are beautiful. Next I want to talk about blush and I don't think this will come as a shock because I have been using these blushes on my channel and on my Instagram like all the time and these are the MAC Extra Dimension blushes. I freaking love these blushes guys. Like they are absolutely stunning. I'm sure you can see as I like move them in the light, they have like a sheen to them and that is why I love them. Once I found these and I remember I was at my friend's house, Sumaya, she was trying out her own blush. It was actually this shade, this is the shade Fairly Precious. I took it from her <laughs> for fun and tried it on my face and I couldn't believe what I saw on my face. From that day, I knew I had to get my hands on these blushes. So you guys know I love a dewy face, right? And that is the reason why I love these blushes so much. Like I said, you can see the sheen in them. And the sheen in these is not like a disgusting, highlighty sheen that emphasizes texture on the skin. In fact, the opposite. It just makes you look so glowy, so beautiful. I can't explain it. Like There's just something so beautiful about these blushes. You just have to try to believe it. So I actually have four shades, but I want to talk about these two specifically. My favorite one is definitely this one, Hush Tone. I use this one a lot more, as you can see by the ring of like color all over. I use this one the most because this is more like my everyday blush. And say you already have a lot of blushes in your collection and you can only pick one, then as much as, yes, like I said, Hushed Tone is my favorite, this is the one I use every day, I would instead recommend getting the Fairly Precious shade. I'll tell you why. Say you already have, like I said, a lot of blushes in your collection, you don't want to add too many more. You can instead get something like Fairly Precious and use this as a blush topper on top of all the other blushes that you do already have, just because of how light it is. Maybe depending on your skin tone, this might be too light, so maybe you can then instead pick up something like this, the hushed tone one. But if you were to just pick up one, pick up one that you can use as a topper for the other blushes that you do have in your collection so that then you still get the effect with all the other colors that you already have. Does that make sense? Okay. Let's talk about highlighter. Now for highlighter, it was really hard to pick one because I wanted to pick one that I use every day, but then I was like, but 
I don't know, like highlighter can be a bit personal. I don't know, you know? So I wanted to pick one that was, that just stood out to me, that was really special instead. One that I feel I've never seen other people make before and that's this Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb Highlighter in How Many Carrots. This is such a unique highlighter that I genuinely don't even know how to describe this highlighter. Every time someone asks me about it, I get lost for words because I, I genuinely don't know how to explain this highlighter to people. It's so unique, so beautiful. It's nothing like a regular highlighter. And sadly mine broke some time back so I'm just gonna hold it up this way. But yeah, that's the highlighter. It doesn't look like anything special, but trust me, it is. So unlike other highlighters which have pigment in them and like a sheen and a, a shimmer to them, this doesn't necessarily have shimmer, but it's more of like a translucent glitter. And I know that sounds crazy, like where would I want to put glitter on my face, but trust me, trust me, trust me. This is beautiful. I personally hate glitter in my highlighters, but somehow this just stole my heart. It makes your skin look juicy and wet. It doesn't make it look like you have highlighter. It's just, I don't know how to explain it, you know? I'm just gonna swatch it so that it speaks for itself. And you can just see the swatch alone on my finger. Sorry, I'm not giving you the finger, guys. But you can see just how wet it makes my finger look. And it's like a translucent, transparent base, which is what I love. And then it makes the skin skin look wet like you have water on your skin do you see that like it's glitter yes but it's just glitter in the most beautiful way another thing you could use this highlighter for is maybe you're not a hijabi like myself you could use this to just highlight the rest of your body instead i highly recommend this highlighter i, I can't live without this chef's kiss next i want to talk about lips lips are a bit personal you know there's people who like glosses there's people who like matte lips but i want to talk about the one product that just stood out to me all of 2019 that i couldn't live without the moment i ran out of it i had to purchase another one and that's the fenty beauty gloss balm this gloss is the best gloss on the planet hear me out it makes your lips look so juicy, so plump, and so filled in, like you have no lines on your lips. It is stunning. My favorite is the Fenty Glow. This is like the perfect nude for me. I ran out of mine, had to purchase another one. It's just my favorite gloss. But I do have to give a shout out to this beautiful color in the shade Cheeky. This came in, I don't know if you guys saw the cute little tin that they did for the holidays where you got like five different colors. One was an existing shade, the shade Fussy, but Four colors were new and this is one of the new colors so this shade in the shade cheeky is just such a beautiful like coral pinky red color i know it looks red in the tube but once it's on your lips it's like more of a pinky coral color and it has so much gold glitter in it it's stunning i know i'm too small of a creator for fenty beauty to notice me but let's just say that by some crazy chance they happen to see this video fenty beauty please make this in a full-size version i beg you please i love this so much and i have a feeling i'm going to run out of this so quick and i don't see the point of buying a whole tin just to get this one gloss you know so i really hope that they release these in a standard version now for eyeshadow i want to talk about a particular eyeshadow that just stood out to me all of 2019 i could talk about a palette but you know with palettes it's a bit more personal again like it's all about the colors that you like and i would say my favorite eyeshadow formula is Anastasia Beverly Hills hands down but I don't want to talk about a palette I want to talk about an eyeshadow that I just cannot live without it's even the one that I have on my eyes right now that's all I have on my eyes and that's the Ace Beauty Glimmer Shadow in the shade Iced Latte this is such a beautiful eyeshadow let me just swatch it for you guys it has the most beautiful glitter I have ever seen like the camera isn't doing justice guys like it's so beautiful it makes your eyes look like they've got like this really pretty sparkle when the light hits it it's stunning i've been using this like almost every day and i'm shocked i actually haven't hit pan but it used to have like this really pretty like quilted pattern on the front that's clearly gone now because of how much i've used it but i will admit these are a bit expensive i got this particular one in a boxy charm came in a little duo with this one and a more orangey one and when i went to the ace beauty website to see how much they cost so that i can repurchase once i finish this one i saw that they were 25 dollars that is 
crazy expensive in my opinion so instead i will recommend a dupe the colourpop super shock shadows are amazing they're probably just as good as these and they're way cheaper they're six dollars each if i'm not wrong the last time i checked and they are just as good they even come in a very similar container except theirs is white in fact, I think Ace Beauty copied their container because Colourpop have been doing it way longer than these guys. But I have to give a shout out to this one. It's just beautiful. Next, I want to talk about lashes. The particular lash that just I freaking fell in love with this year has to be the Iman Beauty Lashes in the style Miss Independent. I talked about these in a previous video as well. And I have to say, like, they really are a favorite. These are just such a beautiful style they're so wispy so fluttery they make your lashes look amazing and they're by a local brand so it makes it that much better also owned by a muslim woman if you want to support her i highly recommend getting your hands on this particular style the miss independent they are mink lashes and they only cost a thousand more and they come in a really cute container too like i can't say enough good things about them it's crazy that a pair of mink lashes is going for that cheap in my opinion because mink lashes tend to go for like 20 to 35 dollars most of the time online so to find them locally for a thousand more in my opinion they're so worth it. They'll last you a really long time. You can use mink lashes up to 30, 40 times so long as you take care of them. So yeah, check these out. I'll link in the description box below if you want to get a pair. And then last but certainly not least is setting spray. And I have to give a shout out to this spray, the 4-3 Beauty Glisten Up Mist. This is such a beautiful mist. Just like a few other products I mentioned, I did also buy this during the Black Friday sales. And it's crazy that I talk about this instead of my favorite MAC Fix Black. Plus. Like Mac Fix Plus is OG, okay? You can't beat it. It just, it does so much for what it is because you can also use it as a primer, just so many things. But this one I have to say is just special, absolutely special. You can see if I like hold it up, there's like shimmer moving around in the liquid. And I think that's what makes this so special. The shimmer is so micro fine that when you spray it on your face, you don't see any glitter on your face. I promise you. It just gives your skin the most dewy, fresh look. You look so healthy, so glowy. I just love it. You can't beat this and i think it's only like 12 dollars so you really can't beat it because the fix plus is like if i'm not wrong locally it's 2400 or 2600 and online it's like 28 dollars which don't get me wrong i'm still gonna be buying it because i can't live without my fix plus but for what this is for the amount that it costs and for how much you get because you get 120 ml whereas a fix plus is 100 ml and this also has vitamin c in it so it's also good for your skin at the same time like i can't say enough good things about this it's so beautiful i really recommend you trying it if you love a good dewy look because this is like dewy on steroids it's so good so yeah guys that's it for my makeup favorites. I know it was a really long video, but I did have a lot of favorites this year that I had to shine a spotlight on. I've definitely tried a lot more products this year than I care to admit. I am a bit of a makeup order, but <laughs> these are the ones that did stand out to me this year that I just find I can't live without from this point on. So at the end of the day, I'm not doing this video to make you guys have to buy every single one of these products. It would be expensive, don't get me wrong, but this is just to shed a spotlight on some of my favorites so that in case you were looking for something and you just wanted like somebody's input in it, this is my way of letting you know why I love these products and if you're looking for something similar, then maybe this can help guide you, you know? So yeah, let me know if any of these products are your favorites i'd really like to know so that you know i know we're in the same wavelength you know <laughs> but yeah guys if you want to watch my skincare favorites just look in the description box below i will be linking all the other videos that i will be doing in this series so go down if you have time and press play for the next one because i should have uploaded all the videos in one go but yeah thank you so much for watching um let me know also what you guys would like to see next do you actually want to see like a video of the opposite do you want to see things that i I didn't like in 2019 let me know in the comments below and i will work on that for you guys but yeah thank you so much for watching again please subscribe if you haven't already like this video if you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in my next video and don't forget dida loves you